After connecting the attachments and tips, you need to check the entire system for leaks. The steps to perform a leak test are as follows. First, ensure that the adjusting mechanism is completely backed out. Open the gas slowly until the high pressure gauge reading stabilizes. Then shut off the cylinder valve. Monitor the gauge for any pressure drop, which would indicate a leak of the high pressure side of the system. If no leak is evident, open the cylinder valve and adjust the oxygen regulator to deliver 20 PSI. Repeat the process with the fuel gas valve and regulator, but be sure to adjust the fuel gas regulator to deliver only 10 PSI. Close both the oxygen and fuel cylinder valves. Turn the adjusting screw or knob counterclockwise one half turn. Observe the gauges on both regulators for a few minutes. If the gauge readings do not change, then the system is leak tight. Open the cylinder valves again. Any movement of the needles indicates a possible leak. If you observe a leak, stop. Do not use leaking equipment. Check all the connections. If you can't find the leak, have the equipment inspected by a qualified technician. After connecting the attachments and tips, you need to check the entire system for leaks. The steps to perform a leak test are as follows. First, ensure that the adjusting mechanism is completely backed out. Open the gas slowly until the high pressure gauge reading stabilizes. Then shut off the cylinder valve. Monitor the gauge for any pressure drop which would indicate a leak of the high pressure side of the system. If no leak is evident, open the cylinder valve and adjust the oxygen regulator to deliver 20 PSI. Repeat the process with the fuel gas valve and regulator, but be sure to adjust the fuel gas regulator to deliver only 10 PSI. Close both the oxygen and fuel cylinder valves. Turn the adjusting screw or knob counterclockwise one half turn. Observe the gauges on both regulators for a few minutes. If the gauge readings do not change, then the system is leak tight. Open the cylinder valves again. Any movement of the needles indicates a possible leak. If you observe a leak, stop. Do not use leaking equipment. Check all the connections. If you can't find the leak, have the equipment inspected by a qualified technician.